Greetings everyone, my name is Ari Steel and welcome back to the final station. On our last adventure, we got visual evidence that the visitors are now walking among us and destroying every city that they come across. And the need to get into an actual shelter, a viable shelter, is becoming much more dire. So it was a dam all along. Looks like the dam broke and flooded the whole area. There's also a dire need for more ammo because I am running low. Oh, hi! Cool, I can pick that up and kaboom! Oh, I got hit by that! Some of my bitch. Nothing else down here. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, hey, Munchkin! Take that! And don't come back. And on the third floor is Smokey Jones, and it looks like this little laptop here can be readable, but I'm not gonna risk blowing myself up anymore just to read a few texts. It ain't worth it. Oh, I like the use of the house in the forefront there. That's such a nice touch. God, I love the design of this game. What do we have here? Alex, the administration of Armin White has denied your book for publication and Omega won't work with us anymore. It's just like I said, we never had a chance and now I'm suffering for it too. Please let me know as soon as you have an idea what to do next. Richard. Well, well, Mr. Armin Armand. Blocking all sorts of bullshit coming his way. What do I want to do with you? You know what? I'm going to shoot you. And i shoot you again. And then shoot you again. Ah, crap. I can't see with the house in the way. <laughs> Come on. Oh, you want to ignore me? You want to ignore me? Motherfucker. Come on. Come on, big man. Let's see what you got. Bam. And swing. Ha, ha, ha. I honestly didn't think that was going to work. I completely lucked out. I risked getting my head smashed in. But luckily, I didn't. Page 14. Thanks to reliable sources in the administration, we have managed to learn the, mem the names of the real members who formed the council along with Vermin White. Christoph Thornton, Arthur Vane, Theodore Belfour... They are the men who overthrew Vermin and held him in a private prison where he spent the rest of his days. Okay, so I was wrong at the very beginning. Well, partially wrong. Because I thought Vermin White was the leader of the current council. I thought he was like some evil conglomerate head that was pulling the strings and making all the bad shit happen to everyone in the cities. But it was in fact Armand White who blocked the guy's book from being published. I think it's either his son or his father. I don't know the relationship between Armin and Vermin. But either way, I almost got their positions mixed up. Page 15. After overthrowing Vermin, the members of the council had a new goal, dividing and assuming control of the country. All of the programs instituted by Vermin were delayed, including construction of the Guardian, building walls around Metropole, etc., Soon afterward, Arthur Vane disappeared without a trace. We do not know whether or not the other members of the council were involved in his disappearance. So that's why the council no longer wanted to work on the Guardian and finish building the wall. Whew. And die. Ho ho! Got out of that unscathed. Anything over here? Just a couple lockers. Nice, nice. Money, money. That'll work. Ooh, this friggin' emblem's got goopy dripping out of it. I don't know what that means. Uh, what do you got? You got scraps. No gasoline. Ah, crap. Alright. You I can deal with. You need to get blown in the head. Come on. Stop walking. <laughs> fidgety when you walk. I still hate that it takes four rounds to kill those guys in the head. More bullets, please. More bullets. God damn it. That's not good. That's not good either. No, I can't get up without that. Eh. Uh, hmm. This is a predicament. Come on. Walk in the same direction, please. Preferably that way. I said that way. Swing it that way. Thank you. Alright. Knock him back. I didn't want to shoot him in the head. Final bullet. Ah, crap. 
Alright, it's just one of you guys. You're not that bad. But I would prefer not to get hit. The guy who was supposed to take over for me is sick, so you're not coming for the holidays. I can't just leave. Somebody has to track the weather. Tons of crops are depending on me. Well, not anymore. All your crops are flooded, and they are therefore dead. Buddy, do you have any ammo? Thank you, dead guy. I can't tell if that window's broken or if there's something in the window. That was always one of the creepy aspects about this game, too. And some of the scenes, you would see the creatures in the windows. Oh, it was just so nerve-wracking. Alright, that takes care of you. And nothing else here. Alright, awesome. Damn, how far does this go? Must go quite the ways. Can I use this? Nope, I can't. Okay. I didn't know if it was viable or not. I didn't think it would because the roof was blocking it. Closed. I went shopping. We'll be back on Thursday. Or you're not back at all. And I'm gonna take some food. Thank ya. Smells like coffee. Nothing? Okay. Ooh, can we head in the boat? More ammo! Hell yeah, man! The game knew. It knew I was running low. Can I go in the boat? Huh. That's a new feature. A new means of transportation. Take that, take that, and then one. Nope. One. Don't get too close. And there we are. Alright, check upstairs. Um, oh, you asshole. That's where the water is. <sighs> Alright, he only spits, though, so I think... Oh, come on. Come on. Don't... Walk over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Come on. Nice. That's how you deal with them on stairs. Hey, a drum set. Oh, I can't use the drum set? Really? I think in the main game, you got to play around with some instruments. They made a little bit of noise. Takes care of you. And one more. Aw, oh, too bad they can't drown. We just let them crawl and then drown in the lake. More ammo. Nothing up here. Good. You're not going to work today? Nope, I called in sick. I want to record the guitars. Michael's already finished the drums, and now he's just sitting there. When do you think you're going to release the album? I don't know. It's hard to set a date for something like this. I don't want to rush it. Yeah, you never want to rush perfection, especially when it comes to music. Oh, hey! Hey, friend! What? Please, take me with you. I can pay if you want. Do I look like a person who needs money? Well, honestly, yes. I don't know whether to be insulted because of how I'm dressed or how I look, or it's because it's the end of the world and you could just use money as a means of trading. Hey! <laughs> Charles Berger, a musician. Pretty low crafting, you're okay health-wise, and your sociality is a little bit more than Matthew's. But honestly, I kind of like the crafting from Matthew. So, uh, I'm going to stick with him. Sorry, Charles. Not taking you with me. What else is there to explore and look at? But yeah, that reminds me. I actually did make a song. I made my... Oh, shit. Uh... Oh, no. God damn it. Motherfucker. Whew, there we go. Okay. Goddamn motherfuckers hiding in a church. Ah, another one. Whew, that's what you get. God damn. Hit me like that. What we got here? Anything? Dude, this just trails on forever. Damn it. I'll get all wet. Oh, it actually looped around. Oh, that's cool. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna use a med kit. Guy got a head on me. But other than that, we're good to go. Everything is ready. I can go now.
All good? So, so, I got soaking wet. I can lend you my shoes if you like. Well, take them while your shoes are drying in the car. All right, thank you. See, Matthew's a good guy. How are you doing? Fine. There's a sawmill ahead. I think this is the last stop before Bristol. We're almost there. Good. Alright, let's see if I can actually get him to craft something. Nope. Not enough there. Can craft a bullet. A single solitary bullet, but it'll do. That'll be the difference between life and death. Doesn't look like they can be survivors. Wow, what a tree. Now, this actually is a good tree. Oh, shit! Ho, ho, ho! Wasn't expecting that to happen. Oh, hi! Ah, nice. Got the water already. Whoa. What the hell happened in here? Those are bullet wounds. Oh, don't tell me I'm going to run into people with guns. That's not going to be good. All right, let's head back over this way. But yeah, as I was saying, I made um, I made a song not too long ago, and I put it up on SoundCloud, but I'm really iffy on whether or not I want to put it up on the channel. Because I did say I wanted to start making music. Don't forget, no lumberjack gets out of this alive. If you miss one, you won't get paid. I'll expect a report in the morning. Whoa. That's some pretty heavy shit. And the reason I'm nervous about it is because, I mean, to me it sounds alright, but I don't know how other people will think about it, and I don't want to have a group of people find it and then just bombard it with dislikes because they think it sounds bad or something. I mean, I don't know if it's just artistic nervousness. Or what, but... Maybe I'll tweak it a little bit and, and see if I can add some more before giving it a final uh, go-ahead here. This is gonna suck. You know what? Before I go down there, let me see if there's another way down from the left. Vito Small Mill. Hi. A whack. And a bang. And a whack whack. Don't talk back. Anonymous, this is your last warning. Leave the tree alone. Anonymous, if you don't, you'll be sorry. This is ridiculous. I'm calling the police. It actually makes me wonder. Were they attempting to cut down the tree and some nature head just got, like, really, really offended by it? And then decided to go on a killing spree? Nice, I don't have to kill him after all. You could just stay behind that door. All by your onesies. Contemplating your death. Or your ink life. Uh, hi. Hey, dude. What are you doing here? Me? What are you doing here behind the planks? I'm looking for my axe. I want to go back to the workshop and finish off those creatures. I've got a better idea. Whoa, Mark Rayan, you are a lumberjack and you got crafting out the wazoo. Your medical condition isn't that great, though, and your sociality still isn't all that great. Now, here's the thing, though, and I never looked this up. What is the difference between having someone with a high level of crafting and someone that's like either mid or mediocre? Does it warrant how many materials they use? Like, if they have a low rating and crafting, they have to use up more materials to make an item. And the higher it is, the less they use. I kind of want to take him with me. I kind of want to dump Matt off. But Matt, let him be his shoes, man. He's a good guy. And I'm not too sure, but it seems like his medical condition is getting worse. Is it slightly getting lower? I can't tell. Nah, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with Matt. Sorry, buddy. You keep looking for that axe, though. Oh, shit. 
Whoa, I just batted away the goop! I batted away the goop! There is a defense against this! Didn't mean to shoot him multiple times in the back like that, I accidentally hit left click. God damn it, I did it again. Oh, that's so cool! I didn't know I could do that! A whack and a bang. <laughs> oh, right! That puts a whole new level of courage. Oh, go down, go down, go down. Holy crap. Alright, we're gonna play this rather cheeky. Okay, there's an... I'll just take him out like normal. There we go, and there we go. That's one thing I actually should have pointed out a long time ago, and I completely forgot about it myself, to be perfectly honest. You can kind of sneak having them hit you and getting free hits off if you kind of go up and down the stairs like that. Thomas, we're swamped at the warehouse. Where are you? I don't think I'm coming back. Why not? All those threats, I don't think we should just ignore them. We should have never gotten involved with that tree. Jesus, are you serious? Tree huggers have always latched on onto us. What's the matter with you? Because it looks like they went fucking postal. Oh, that's not good. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Crap, 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 crap. Damn it. I don't know why I did that. All right. I'm not that far behind. So here's what's going to happen. Go down, go down. Whoa, you're not hitting me. Ha ha ha, but you will light on fire. Beautiful. That worked beautifully. Um, this is gonna be a problem, though. Stop doing that! God damn it! I don't know why I have the urge to left click as soon as I swing. Ooh, I took him out all swift like. Members of a religious group known as the Order of the Advent have taken over a coal mine in the self. As a result, we will have to change our heating plans for the winter. This year, we will be using wood heat, which means that your business is going to have a lot of responsibility. Richard Ducat, Ministry of Natural Resources. I mean, wood burning is a lot more preferred. Did I get this cabinet? No, I did not, because I died after I did. Burning wood's a lot more natural, and it doesn't release carbon into the air. <laughs> I love it! And they don't hit me either, they just spit. That's their only means of attack. And there's the gas. And that just leads down. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is just head up here. Swing on over to the right. Move on over to Bristol. Oh wait, I can't- oh, there's another door there I didn't open. I didn't see this. Hello, hello? Completely forgot about that, because I got it earlier. Alright, cool. Let's go, Matt. We are out of here. And you can just stay down there. And fuck off. Everything is ready. I can go now. We're not doing too bad. Thank goodness. Already in Bristol. Just a couple more miles. Do you have any relatives or friends there? My brother. Our main goal is to find out where the shelter is. Will he help us? Of course. Too bad you don't have space for three people. If the shelter's nearby, we can work something out. Good. Uh, so I was right that this car is only a two-seater. I gotcha. Alright, can I craft anything more? Nope, I cannot. Yeah, see, it takes ten rags and eight pills for him to make a med kit. So I am curious if it takes far less with someone who has higher crafting. I mean, that would make sense if you think about it. Hope there are more survivors. It's a familiar space. God, this place is destroyed too. Check the buildings first before I go down underground. Anyone home? Hello? 
Nothing. Check the second floor. I see. All right, that takes him out. All these are opened up. Doesn't look like there's anything viable or anything to salvage from it. That sucks. So, I think I'm a day behind the train conductor. To kind of place this as to where we are in the world. More pistol ammo. Very good. What do you mean do you have activated the crystal? Have you lost your mind? It was a direct order from Adam. He wants to transport it by train. Transport it where? And what's going to happen to us? The entire city depends on it. I know, but orders are orders. Oh, shit. Kaboom, kaboom. Well, there goes one. Grab that. Oh, come on. Come on, get in the range. There we go. Hey, that works too. And bang. Alright, come on, fucker. Oh, you got me. I know how to deal with you now. No, 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 no. Ah, son of a bitch. I gotta use another med kit. Ugh. Oh, there was a TV there. Could have used it. Actually, hold on. Was there another door over here? Uh, no, there was not. Okay. Just double checking. More pistol ammo. Man, it is just giving me ammo left and right. Oh, that looks like an elevator. Alright, let's not use that just yet. You're a biggin'. <laughs> yeah, see, if you're just right underneath them, they can't bother you. Alright. I kind of want to go down here. But I also wanted to go off to the left to see what else there was. I can come back. It's fine. Oh, yeah, it's you. I remember coming down here as a conductor. This is where everyone started to transform. I remember being in here, too. Dear Adam, now that you and my son, Armand, have graduated high school, you have... Oh, okay, so Vermin is the father, then. You have a bright future ahead of you. It's important that I ask you for a favor now, because I don't think I'll have another opportunity to do so. A man named Arthur Vane is going to return someday, and I want you to do whatever it takes to keep my son away from him. This won't happen for decades, so it's very important that you remember. Otherwise, the course of the future will be impossible to change. Vermin White, 64 year from the VF. 64 years from the first visitation. So there's time travel involved with this. Traitor. Arthur Vane. He's the cowboy from the very first game that kills us at the very end. During the whole beginning sequence, we go into... When we go down into the sewers, we go onto a balcony and there's this giant room with him sitting at a desk, very much like this. And he's smoking a cigarette. And he's surrounded by dead creatures. I'm hearing voices. Uh-oh. There he is! You were supposed to damage the crystal. That was part of the deal. Hmm. I think they will have no issues with the Guardian. Does it matter with or without the crystal? It doesn't matter to them. What matters is that you didn't pass a test. Oh. A test? What's with the shelter? Did you leave it open for my people? I think I forgot. Sorry, too much work. Too bad. I thought you realized how it's going to end. It is inevitable, Adam. We'll see. Armand wanted to talk to you. Armand? Is he here? Yes. Let's go. I'll open the door. I love how I'm just standing there with a gun pointed directly at him and they don't even notice me. Oh, things are actually starting to make way more sense now. 
Adam, I don't think that Machinist is a reliable option, but there's a chance he'll succeed. Blacksmith, under conditions like these, a chance is plenty. Adam, he is going to appear someday. Blacksmith, are you, aren't you afraid? Adam, I'm too important to them. I don't have anything to be afraid of. Hey, wait! Uh-oh. I will talk to you later. Whoa, where'd they go? What the hell? Where did they go? I just asked that. Adam Thornton's meeting schedule. 11, Alex Medham, cancel. Richard Green, workshop manager. Vanessa Ridley, head engineer. Anytime important, Edward Jones, machinist. Oh, man. And I'm back to where I was. Okay, cool. So that was where I had to go. Oh, look at the goop in the forefront. Ah, oh, it's nasty. It's just dripping about across the screen. So now all I'm missing is gas. Just gotta go get the gas and then we can skedaddle on out of here. Oh, that's right. I need to start going down now. Anything in this box? Nope, nothing. I wish I could hit that back at him. Ah, crap. Ah, crap. All right, all right, all right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Enough of that. I don't see the point of this. There's nothing down here to collect. I don't see the gas. Let's go off to the left. See if it's over here. Oh, there we go. There it is. Oh, shit! You little bastard! Hiding behind the wall? What the hell's wrong with you? More crafting material, more items for... Money, money! Is anyone alive? Doesn't look it. Come on. Come on, you son of a bitch! Oh, <laughs> you suck! There we go. I'm going to avoid you altogether. That takes care of you. Oh, and second thought. Eat chair. Now nah, you missed. Ooh, in a box. Ah, damn it. That was dumb. That was even dumber. Come on. Whew. All right, guess what? I got to use another med kit now. Son of a... Bitch. I really hope I have enough to make another one. Hey, who are you? Jesus. Are you from the train? What the hell are you talking about? How did you get here? I drove? A car? Thank goodness. Can I come with you? John Cocker, shop assistant. Um, no you cannot. Sorry. I kind of feel bad because these people just want to get the hell out of here and not die, but at the same time, they're not really providing me with good stats that warrant them bringing them along. And so far, Matt's working out pretty good. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that was close. Alright, more pistol ammo. We're doing good with ammo now. And as far as I know, I think that's it. Got everything off the list. There's nothing else here. I believe it's time to move on. I can go now. Ooh, things are getting interesting now. Why are we leaving the city? What's with the shelter? It looks like the shelter is also closed. Damn. I knew it. We're dead. Shut up. There's one more shelter left. I can't do this anymore. It's in the mountains in the west. We'll get there. And everything will be fine. There's one more stop. I need to get some sleep. Alright. Can you craft anything? Nope. Damn, I am down to one more medkit. That's not good. 
I like the music in this game, too. Hey, what you got, buddy? Hello, where? I'm sorry. Where what? I don't understand. $200 for the med kits? Holy crap. Oh, buy all the ammo. There we go. Load it up. Anything over here? No, nothing. Okay, we're good to go. Time to go. Oh, that's so cool. Was it our old friend? Yes. Did he say where he was heading? Same place as we are. Do you want to wait for him? And travel together? That's a bad idea. His van won't get through the pass. Listen. I just remembered. What about the shelter built by those sectarians? Are you kidding me? Seriously. It's also in the west. We don't need to climb the mountains to get there. Even leaving aside the fact that those people are mad religious fanatics. You think they could build a shelter for people to live for dozens of years inside? We don't know for sure. No. We know. And this is why I don't understand how you can seriously say that. Yeesh. I mean, just trying to lay out all the options. No dialogue? We're good? We're all set? Okay. We got quite a bit done, and we finally, finally got some answers as to what the hell is going on with this story. So, let me see if, I'm, if I can actually piece this together from what I have so far. Vermin White creates the council for good intentions. He ends up getting outed by possible means of a mutiny. There wasn't really any details as to how he got removed from the council, just that he was. And his father takes his place. Now, with him gone, everything that he instilled in the council for his projects, such as the Wall and the Guardian, those get completely kaput. They're no longer completed, and everything's debunked. So, the denizens are left vulnerable to the first visitation. Time travel is somehow a thing where Vermin goes back in time to warn his son that a guy named Arthur Vane is going to show up several decades from that point and ruin everything that they have planned to help defend themselves against the first visitation. It was something about 64 or 65 years before the first visitation. It's like boggling my mind because at first I thought it was like, hey, we're, like it's a virus. I thought it was a virus this whole time and now it seems to be like aliens. And now time travel's involved? Like, once you get time travel involved, that just freaking throws everything on top of its head. Like, trust me, anybody will tell you that. It's, oh man. It's a lot to take in, but I think so far I'm doing pretty good. But my question now is, if Arthur Vane was warned about for 60 plus years in the past, why not have it set up to where when he does in fact show up, just kill him on the spot and then nothing gets ruined? The wall can get completed, the guardian can get completed, and everyone is safe from the visitation. That just doesn't make sense to me. So something I think went awry to allow Arthur Vane to show up and still continue on his path to ruin the plans to protect the people from the visitation. Something that could not be prevented no matter what you do in terms of time travel still occurred that keeps him from sh that that keeps him from being stopped as it were i don't know this is crazy but i'm so glad that i'm finally beginning to understand if you any of you have ever played this game and you have any sort of answers like please try not to spoil it for me because i think i have up to two or three more episodes left i don't know how much more of this game is left but i want to try to figure this out on my own but up to this point from the beginning of the dlc up to where i am now 
write in the comments down below. Let me know what you think so far is actually going on in this game because I am fascinated and I'd love to have a, a discussion about this. But oh my god. It's just, I'm at a loss for words now. But anyway, I'm going to pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then thrust your mouse upon that like button. Keep playing it awesome, and I will see you all on my next adventure.